So let's see how they do on a gravel road. It is making it, sort of. Oh boy, ow, 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 ow. That was sketchy. Hey everybody, I'm Ethan, and today I'm gonna to be checking out the Posway T3 electric longboard. It's an electric longboard with a $500 price tag, but it has a top speed that rivals boards that cost nearly twice as much. And while a high top speed is great, it's only one of many factors that go into how a board rides and whether or not the board is worth it for the money. So with a relatively affordable price tag of $500, does the Posway T3 have what it takes to be a heavy hitter in the mid-tier electric longboard market? We're gonna find out next on Now Let's Review. All right, so we're here with the Posway T3 electric longboard. Uh, yes, I know this board is in kind of rough shape at the moment. It's got some scratches. Uh, the, it, it's, it's definitely seen some wear and tear, and that's because I've been riding it a ton because I don't just get these and just film them nice and pretty for the review. I've put a fair bit of miles on this one, and I like it. I'm a fan of it. I think it's, uh, especially for the price, I think this is a really nice board, but we'll get into more of that. So the first thing about this board you might notice that's different from the other boards I've tested is that this has much larger and more textured wheels. These are 105 millimeter wheels. Most of the boards I review are like 90 millimeter wheels. These are 105 millimeters, so a lot bigger. And they have this kind of hexagon pattern on them, which as you can see has very much worn away in the middle where the real contact patch is. So I wouldn't expect this to last a super long time and they do help with going over more rough terrain, although I wouldn't consider this an off-road board at all. So let's see how they do on a gravel road. This is a very crappy road and a gravel one. And it's, this is also very deep gravel, like the wheels are sinking in. Oh boy, that was sketchy. I mean, it's making it so far, um, not very comfortably. My feet are like vibrating off the board almost, but it is making it, sort of. Oh boy, ow, 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 ow. Oh, this is sketchy. It's doing it though. I mean, I wouldn't recommend going fast at all when you're doing this. This isn't an all-terrain board, it's not. There are boards that come with like big inflatable tires. Those are all-terrain boards. This one is a board that in a pinch you can ride off-road. You can ride on gravel or hard packed dirt if you're in a pinch. So because of the shape of these wheels, because these are kind of these uh, all-terrain cloud wheel kind of shapes, the riding feel of this board is different than other boards I've tested. It's not so different that it feels unnatural, it's just, it's almost a little more smooth when you're turning back and forth, which obviously isn't a bad thing, but it's, I don't know, it's just a little bit different. It's just something interesting about these wheels versus your normal wheels. This board has a nine layer deck. It has eight layers of Canadian maple and one layer of bamboo. I would say it has a medium amount of flex. It's a really nice looking deck. I like the, the stain they did for all the different layers. It looks good. Um, the deck is a very nice shape, super symmetrical. The deck has a really nice concave shape to it. This is actually one of the wider decks of any of the boards that I've tested. My feet fit on it very nicely. This is also one of the heavier boards I've tested. This weighs 20.2 pounds, so, I mean, still reasonable. It's not difficult to carry around, but it is a little bit more so than some of the other boards I've tried out. Looking underneath the board, we have the controller right here with the power button and a battery level indicator. We have the battery. This battery is a 7.8 amp hour, 42 volt, 10 S3P, 18650 lithium ion battery with a four hour charge time with the standard charger or an optional fast charger that can give it a 1.5 hour charge time. This battery claims 18 miles of range, which is actually right up there with some of the longest ranges I've gotten out of any of the boards I've tested. So that battery powers two 500 watt hub motors. That's one on each of the back wheels. These motors do not feel like they really delivered their full capacity. And I'll talk about that when I'm riding. All right, let's test the acceleration. Zero to top speed, full throttle now. The acceleration is just really, really weak on this board. This is two 500 watt motors. It should really pick up, but it just doesn't. All right, I think I'm maxed out at around 28 miles an hour. It's fast. I mean, this is a fast top speed for a board. I mean, you don't ever need to be going faster than this on a board. This is a good, solid top speed, and it's very stable at speed. Some of these boards, when you get going fast, the trucks aren't great and they start to get a little wobbly. This one's nice and smooth, solid, feels great. 
All right, so we're going down the hill. Gonna do the brake test at the bottom. At the bottom of the hill, full brakes, now. Oh my God. All right, so the brakes are not very strong, which is not what you want on a board like this. You want, uh, you want very strong brakes so that you can slow down and avoid running into things like curbs or, I don't know, cars or other vehicles on the road. So the brakes are disappointingly weak. Not even gonna, not even gonna sugarcoat it. Those are very disappointing brakes. At the bottom of the hill, I'm gonna go full throttle, see how it does. Go. Okay. Picking up a bit of speed. Hill's getting steeper, but we're accelerating still. All right, it's, it's chugging along up this hill. This is doing really well. Did very well up the hill. The ESC that this board uses is, I think, Possway's own in-house. It's called the PEST ESC, so Pest ESC 2.0. I think this is kind of the standard remote that brands use when they have their own in-house ESCs. Screen is hard to see on camera, but easy to see in person. It shows the remote battery, the board battery, the odometer, the trip distance, the current speed, the max speed, what mode you're in, and whether you're in forward or reverse. Same as every other remote basically so far. You got your thumb wheel here for acceleration and braking. Good shape and size, standard for the most part. So a fairly standard but pretty cool feature that this board has is that it has auto on. So if I roll the board forward, I heard it beep and now it's on. So that's cool. You still have to shut it off with the power button underneath, but if you wanna just roll it to get the auto on, that is a feature that this board has. And I feel like as with most boards, there's not a whole lot to talk about. They're pretty simple, not much going on, but if you wanna go even further into detail than I did on all the specs, I'm gonna put up a screenshot so you can pause the video and look if you're interested. I'll put all the full detailed specs up. So as I mentioned, this concave deck is great for keeping my feet in place. Like they aren't sliding off the board at all. But another thing that's helping me keep my feet on the board are these awesome, super stylish shoes from Karayuma. These are the Oka High Tops. Uh, you can get them in lots of different colors other than black. I just opted for the black because I think they're pretty stylish. So the cool thing about the Karayuma shoes is that they're all made with sustainably sourced materials. They're all eco-friendly, all natural materials, and they're super comfy, very high quality. So if you wanna get a pair for yourself, head on over to the link in the description of the video and pick up a super stylish, eco-friendly pair of shoes for yourself. So the build quality for this board is very, very nice, especially considering the price. Like if this board had this build quality and cost, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars more, I would still be impressed with the build quality. But the fact that you're getting a board this well made, that's this solid and feels this nice for the $500 price tag is really, really impressive. This is one of the smoothest turning boards I've ever tried out. The trucks are really nice, very easy to carve with. This board is genuinely impressive to me, especially for the price. But if you're looking for a board on a budget and you want something that has a really high top speed, turns really well, is super well made. This board is perfect for what it is and it's perfect for the price point. I, I love it. This is one of my favorites. So overall, I would say the Posway T3 is actually one of the better boards that I've tested so far. I think the $500 price tag is extremely fair for this and I actually think you're getting a bargain if you buy this board at this price. Having spent countless hours riding this board, I can definitely say the top speed is not all this board has going for it. The overall riding experience is great. It's a smooth board. I like it a lot. So on the website, Possway claims this board can get 18 miles of range. And when I tested the range, I actually got 18 miles out of it. Usually when I test these boards, I get a little bit less than the claimed range, but this one actually delivered the full claimed range. So props to Possway for advertising honestly. I always appreciate that. And yeah, I think 18 miles is actually one of the best ranges I've gotten out of any electric longboard I've tested. So if a high top speed and a long range are two things that you need to have when looking for an electric longboard, I very much recommend considering the Possway T3. All right, well, that wraps it up for this review of the Possway T3. If you like this video and you like the board, leave us a like, it helps us out. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more reviews of other electric skateboards, other electric bikes, scooters, all kinds of stuff. We review as many things as we can get our hands on and there's plenty more to come, so make sure you stick around. See you next time, now let's review.